Hi, I'm Lily Anderson Messick with the Florida Native Plant Society and welcome to our first Terminology Tuesday where we will be teaching you botanical terms from beginner to advanced, from micro to macro, glaucus to glabrous. We'll be going over it all and learning it all one Tuesday at a time. So we're going to start off today with annuals, perennials, and biennials, some of the basics about herbaceous plants. Let's get started. So to begin, we're going to go over annuals, biennials, and perennials, and they all fall into the classification of herbaceous plants, which, which just means non-woody. So that just differentiates them from trees and shrub, shrubs, which have woody growth. And I should mention as a caveat with all of these rules in the any biological sciences, there are always odd outliers, weird in-betweens and exceptions. So these are just general rules to go, go by. But annuals, perennials, and biennials are herbaceous plants, meaning they don't form woody growth. And annuals have a specific lifespan. They live for one year where they come up from seed, they germinate, they become reproductive, producing seed, their own seed, flowers, and then seed, and then they die after that life cycle is completed. So that's an annual. Annual means a year, right? And so annuals not don't always live for an entire year. Um, and sometimes they live a little longer or a little less, but they have a set lifespan, which is completed within this short period of time. Another caveat to annuals is that a lot of plants that some people treat as annuals are actually perennial in the habitat that they naturally occur in. So, you know, some of our native plants here in Florida are perennials here, but in Minnesota where they might be planted for some reason, they might be um, have an annual life cycle because they can't overwinter there. They die in the winter, but they're not true annuals. So perennials differ from annuals in that they flower, set seed, and they don't die. They can continue to keep growing for years. Some plants are long-lived perennials and can live for decades and decades. Some plants are short-lived perennials and they only live for like three to five years or so. And um, often perennials will have underground root storage systems that are fairly large in order to um, store energy over winter periods. So that even though they might die above ground during hard winters, if they are in more Northern climates, they are able to stay alive and persist underground in, in storage organs. So this native Zizia aria, Golden Alexanders, is an example of one of our native perennials and it's a fairly long-lived one. I've had several plants that last for many, many years. And then the next one, biennials. We have another native biennial right here. This is Campanula americana, American bellflower. And biennial means that it's kind of in between perennial and annual. A biennial comes up after, after it germinates from seed and it spends its first year in just f foliage, essentially. It doesn't flower in its first year. And often they'll form like a, a low basal rosette, which we'll find, we'll find a basal rosette to show you guys what that looks like. But then in the second year, they flower like these campanula, they produce seed, and then they die. So sometimes, Biennials can live a little bit longer than two years, depending on conditions. They're, oh, as I mentioned, there are always caveats and outliers. Occasionally you'll have a biennial that stays in its um, basal rosette form, just the low foliage for two years, and then it flowers and dies. But basically they have a set life cycle that ends once they reproduce and produce seed. So when I say basal rosette, this is what I'm talking about. Basal just means low to the ground near the base, so basal, near the base. And rosette refers to the shape, which is kind of rose-like. Rose so this is a basal rosette of foliage. And often biennials, when they spend their first year in this kind of shape, and then in the second year, they will send up a flowering stalk, flower, and then they die. Um, these are two of our natives. This, these are both actually uh, perennials. This one is a, a shorter lived perennial, Rebecca mollis, and then this is a, a long lived perennial. Uh, this is Elephantopus. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed our first Terminology Tuesday and I will see you again next week. Keep on learning.